Dead meme. Hey guys, we're back with some more stationeers, and today I would like to talk about filtration and gas management. So we've learned how to use the ice rocket or the automated ice mining uh, module and the automated rockets. So this has given us access to a great deal of gas, but uh, our old style uh, system was unable to cope. So the first thing to really talk about in filtration, of course, is the filtration unit itself. It comes from an atmospherics kit. You print it in the hydro and the hydraulic bender. So you just right click on it and you'll roll the mouse wheel till you get the filtration. And as you can see, it's got one output or one one input with two outputs and some power slots. But let's put it down. So this is the input slot. Uh, however, you get the gas in there is up to you. Ice crusher, active vent, you know, that's, uh, it, it depends on your situation. The, whatever filter you put in here, such as CO2, oxygen, or whatever, will be pushed out this tube as long as it has durability remaining. Any other gases that remain will be sent down the tube that kind of bends out just on the side. And so this is what we were doing in the past. We would say filter out all the oxygen. And then we would push everything back into this pipe and we would start filtering out nitrogen. And so then we would have a tank or whatever, whatever utilization and we would kind of make a big long line of these. And what was occurring, our ice crusher, which is this guy here, is also made in the hydraulic uh, pipe bender. He was blowing up these little pipes in between. And it was kind of uh, a bit of a, a challenge for us. But I'll show you the solution that we came up with. How to handle a great deal amount of gas coming in all at once. So we're in the gas room or the room that handles all the ice. So basically what happens is this ice crusher out there. I showed him to you earlier. That's the ice rocket. He's going to crush down all the ice and pump it into this tube network. And basically... This black tube lets us know that this is all an unfiltered gas that requires some sort of filtration. And if you look at these filtration units, we've color-coded them so that it's uh, easy to uh, deal with them at a glance. So uh, the team, or the, the three of us, uh, four of us actually, that are playing know the color code so that it's uh, easy to tell at a glance what these machines should be doing. But when we crush down all that ice, rather than pumping the gas through each and every unit if you put the output back into the main thrust of your gas system basically like this system's not going to filter out nitrogen or run nitrogen through it it's just only this one's going to take care of that because there's nitrogen filters on it and this one's going to handle the carbon because there's only carbon filters on it the method that we used previously m requires the uh, gas to fl the entire volume of gas to flow through each and every unit and it causes a large bottleneck so just that's something to keep in mind as well the advantage to color coding that i'd like to show off up here this is like our atmosphere tank this thing uh, basically it's a mix of gas that we use to pressurize buildings so and it also has been warmed up through some other processes but the nitrogen which is the green one comes into the gas mixer and the white pipe is the oxygen. So this just lets people know at a glance what's going on. And blue is the atmosphere. So that lets us... Uh, every, everyone knows at a glance what these pipes do. So if someone needs to access atmosphere, they can go up top to the insulated pipe that's painted blue as well, tap off of it, and run it to whatever building it is they're looking for. So it's just a little simple tip. And while we're here discussing that sort of thing we have a waste tank thing and you would think why not just release it into the the outdoor environment well this is waste something that i think you should be shown so 65 percent of the waste in this canister is oxygen that's useful to us like we can breathe that so um, getting rid of it would be wasteful so we can recapture this by throwing it in one of these fill tanks that's attached to the waste network because these guys have like a suction effect. They are, they're trying to drain the pipe. So if I do this, it's just a quick exchange. So you and your friends can recapture useful gases 
carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and send them back through your system. Uh, but keep in mind, if you do decide to put nitrogen in a tank that you're breathing, you'll need a filter for that. I, may, I did a video on that. Uh, if you want to learn more about oxygen warnings and that, I'll put the link in the description. You can take a look. And so here's another great example. So this is the oxygen refill. The only thing in this is oxygen. And I'm only okay, breathing. Critical. I better open that. I'm only breathing oxygen, so I only require these carbon dioxide filters in order to uh, not get any sort of warnings or issues. All right, so let's go outside and we'll have the rocket unload and you can take a look at all of this system in action, how uh, much more efficient it is than the previous method. And just a quick add-on before we run outside. Uh, this gas mixer, you make it in the hydraulic bender or the hydraulic pipe bender. Uh, this guy allows you to mix gases. It requires power. And basically, if you look at this guy, if you um, want to name the gases because it says input one and two. So input one is the one that's coming in from the right here. And input two is on the bottom. And this is the output. So on this guy, if you take a look at it, the input one, which is our green pipe coming from the right side, is 80% of this mix. And number two is oxygen at 20%. So that is the mixture in this little gizmo here. Uh, it's never quite perfect. It's usually really, really close. Like as you can see, we're within half a percent. Like that is more than fine. All right, so the sun's gone down, but my lamp should make it bright enough to see. So just a reminder, the system that I showed you at first, the method we were using in the beginning before we knew better, all the gas would enter this pipe all of it runs through this filtration system, then all of the remainder that got filtered out, besides what was filtered out, would run through this pipe. We were blowing these pipes up. So we built the other system. So this ice rocket has 134 units of ice, and we're just gonna start unloading them. And this ice, cr ice crusher is gonna start going to town. Perfect. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to run inside. I'm going to be moving the airlock soon. And down there, I'm going to build a nice sorting room because uh, I've been in inspired by my friend. But back to the task at hand here. Now, see, this machine is crushing a ton of ice, an absolute ton. But I'm not gaining any real pressure in the, in the system, but yet my gauges are climbing. Take a look at oxygens, usually one they see a lot of climb on. And the volatiles are climbing, but they're decreasing because they're being eaten up by one of our gas mixers here. So we have a gas mixer going on here to create fuel, and this is how the rocket gets launched. It also can be used to resupply your welding torch if you're still using the chemical version. So I think that it's a relatively exciting method not having your stuff blow up and look there's still 60 units of ice coming down the pipe no critical gauges nothing's exploding um, I absolutely love it so hopefully like feel free to copy the design there's no logic in this at all it's just simple filtration and the, as you can see like, we filter to a pipe that goes into a tank and then we push the pipes up so that, well, we can put a nice meter on them. And then you can also tap off of them. So we have a CO2 tap and an oxygen tap. So hopefully that's helpful. If there's a little design that you want to discuss or talk about or something you think that I should be doing that you would like to throw in there, uh, go ahead, toss it in. You know, let's make the video better for everyone. Ice rockets also get you a fair bit of water, too. So there are, our hydroponics bay is back there. So uh, that's also the other added benefit to this ice crusher setup. But have a good day. See you all again real soon.